<laughs> Yo, what is up guys? This is Kai. We're back again with another deck profile of back to back to back. <laughs> yes, it's late at night now. It's about 10 o'clock and we're still in the locals. Yes, we're going to back to home soon. Right after this, today we're doing another deck profile that is I have not seen a lot of deck profile on YouTube for now, only a few. The deck will be Labyrinth and for the, you guys have read the effects, you will probably like, oh it's a trap deck, like Elvich but more niche. -y. But I played the deck a few times when it first released until now until post Dark Ring Blast. Yes, it has a lot of things that is undiscovered by player like Labyrinth wise. It's like control decks but even more but it's not like easy burst or like early burst It's more of a late game drag until like your opponent's draw resources And also you need to consider of the chain reaction, interaction and so on And other than that, it's still a pretty good deck to play So now without further ado, I will explain those things and what they do So start off we have the White Palace of the Library. For this card, Darcy's. When this card is on the field, your opponent cannot activate monster effects in response to your trap deck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to your traps. So if you activate something like Sanguines, like Welcomes, your opponent can't Ash. They can't Maxis, which means they can't use monster effects. No response. No response. Only traps. Mostly traps activate will be just like. Torrential Solons, as I mistaken, only those. And also, once per turn, you can target one trap, normal trap card in your graveyard, send it on the field. But if you do not control a fiend type monster, you can't activate that traps. So it doesn't matter, you always have monsters on your field. And also, if your opponent's monster leaves the field due to the effect of normal traps, you get to discard one of their hands or destroy one of their monsters. It's a destroy. So if their hands, they destroy it once in their hand. So basically, it's a discarding hand, it's a boss. Like Eldritch, but smaller. Yes. So you play two because unlike Eldritch, you can send it off from the hand to bring it back. This card don't. You have to use other cards. So just two. And the new cards post Darkwing Blast, Lady of the Labyrinth. Stupid shit. <laughs> this is the multi picker deck during the turn if you activate any Labyrinth effects or normal traps during the turn. This is in this card in defense position. And this, if you have a set card, this card is cannot be destroyed by card effects and it cannot be targeted. Is it cannot be targeted? Yes, it cannot be targeted. Yes, it cannot be targeted. And it cannot be destroyed by card effects. And also it's a 3000. And if a normal trap is activated, you can chain two, including your opponents. If like your opponents activate impermanence, you can activate a chain two to set another normal trap for the deck, which is insane. Any normal trap, your opponent impermanence, you set dimension dimension of barrier. Your opponent, your opponent like torrential or anything, you can chain two to set impermanence. And also funny interactions, like if you play against sky striker or anything, you activate the traps. You can activate traps to set impermanence into the multi row zone. So during your turn, you can negate the multi row and the shizuku hydrate is summoned during your turn. Stupid shit. Which is insane. You can play 3 but don't. But if you play 3, that's bricks. Yes, it's more brick because, because it's, yes, it's multi picker but it has a little niche in it. For the normal summons, this card, when normal special, you get to search elaborate cards. And if you, like, like all the other elaborate monsters does, including these two. So whenever a monster is lifted to you due to the trap effects, you get to draw a card and set a spell trap from hand or such summon a feat. But that doesn't matter, we wanted to draw cards. And this is your only normal summon attack. So you wanna play three and these two, they share the similar effects. You can discard this card from the field or hand and another card, which is you discard two. You set one library spell or trap from the deck. Yes, you minus two, but if your opponent's monster is sent to is sent to the field from the grave to the graveyard by normal traps, you can add this back and switch some of this back. So you add back, add back, set, add back, and set, set to your opponent's and face, it's a quick effect. So you send it, set back, and send it, set again, so you replenish your resources. Run your opponent out of resources and you're good to go. Yes, yeah, and you're good to go. And also this deck doesn't really want out of resources, it will, but so interpret this as well. And for the best part of the deck, you're like discard at least you're discarding 
set one, and your bad chest effects. Uh, look at the top three, so I'm gonna check. You know why. And for the hand chest, the standards, three ash, like three. That's all the hand chests you play. Because, in my opinion, for Codex, you can't play too many traps, and also you can't play too many hand traps as well. But this deck is different. You need more traps than hand traps. That's all for the monsters and for the spells, of course. Every control deck's wet dreams. Wet dreams? Draw two? Why not? No prosperity because plus two is nice. Digging is not that useful. Yes, dig digging is not that good in this deck because as you can see, they're they don't do much on their own because it's just not that good. For the fist spell, the fist spell combos well with this. Uh, welcome. This is like sanguine, but it's only so from the deck. So the fear spell is whenever you activate this, it extras its effect, it destroys a card on the field. It's non target So you activate this, it's number one, it's top one. It's Conquistador and a sanguine. And if your opponent's monster is leave you by traps, and if you activate a normal trap, you can search number one, fin type from hand or grave. All of these are uh, fin type, so you can search number all of the back. And this is a second effect. It's, it's once per turn, not either once per turn. So if your opponent's monsters is sent to the graveyard by traps, you can set this from the graveyard. So you can add this back, add this back, add this back. Add this back. No, 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 no. Yes, you can splash out all your deck monsters from your deck and you just push. And speaking of normal traps, that makes opponent's monsters sent to the graveyard. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of it. We play a lot. lot. We play this because it's a discard elite, not karma cut. Because you send this to opponent's complex, you know what he draws. And we play one stretch. It's just. You won't break with two if you play one. <laughs> and also, yes. Yes. Because this is much better if you play like, pop multiples, you still get to, you still get the plus. Right? You don't summon extra decks, and also more choices for you maybe, to set up. So the more you want, the more choices. Two, two, two. Because you can this to this, and then you this to this, this, this. No, 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 no. That's all for the decks. For the decks. Extra decks doesn't matter. It's for the discard at least this is for uh, because your black jacks are level one, so one of this. This is an additional to the release from Darkwing Blast, it's a fin type and also once per turn, you can also for one fin type from the graveyard and then you discard a card. You discard another cost, so you can just send if you're restricted by any fin, you can use it to bring it back, you can bring her back. Bring her back or bring her back. And then you just plus the monsters and for Phoenix Phoenix standard. Max. The discard elites. Yes, all of these are discard elites. Don't mind this. This is just here for the flex. Ah. And the new additional Meliogic, I believe his name. The we don't exist this, we just wanted to send the graveyard. When this guy is sent to the graveyard, you can target a face of card of you, and it gets this effect until the end of turn. So if you're using punishments, you will not only destroy cards, you may get a face of card as well. Yes, it's a bit small. And I'll show you guys in the side there why we play this. You can imperm a skill drain! <laughs> yes, you can imperm a skill drain, which is why we don't know why we do it, but we do it. For the side decks, it depends on your locals or your environments. We change according to the to the local environment to the side decks. Ranka, love having reason because <laughs> we play trap decks. It's a heavy back row, so we play this because this that doesn't mean normal summon that much as you think it will. Yes, we play three normal summon targets. It doesn't mean you always use it. This is just there, and this is for. This. Atomic Slay. I can't believe they changed this name in the TCG. Ultimate Slay. Ui. I like it. Why? Where? Uh, uh. Atomic is better. <laughs> Ultimate is better. This is for uh, this. The Sunny. You, se you send this off as Ultimate Slay. You banish this. You send this. You send another card. This is for this. Send the discard palette. So. It's there. Next. 
the stairs. Yeah, I, nah. I don't want to stay for this. And for going first, um, this is still, still good against literally any decks. Sprite, yeah, I'm on. it's still fine. This, this, yes, it's not good against tier, but it's very good against Splice. When they get the summons, they can't extend it, they, they don't. So yeah, that's it for the decks, so I don't think there's a <laughs> combo explanation. <laughs> Left with combo decks at 5 <laughs> <laughs> yes, get that by hand, so it's nothing much to explain. So the only thing it explains is, let's say if you're having maybe a scenario of this, if you have this graveyard, be in mind that let's say your know, opponents like summon the monsters, you activate this, you bounce the monster next, and then after resolve, it's like you are chain like chaining one, chaining two, chaining three, chaining four, chaining five, because when a monster leaves a few by traps, you get to trigger all of them, so you can chamber like one, two, three, four, five, five, set this up hand, this will get to hand, this is special, this triple cut from an opponent, and this get to draw the cards. You, you, can, you can also try chain strike for time for time game. Oh, you can also chain strike for time games, but this deck doesn't really lose to time, unless that we're in a niche situation, but then it doesn't came up that much as you think it would. So guys, I think this is all for the decks, and hope you guys enjoy, and anything that is not familiar, you can let me know down in the comments below, you can ask me anything about this deck, I know it's a familiar, not familiar deck, it's a new deck, but it's definitely a fun deck. Also, big shout out to Kelvin for borrowing me his deck to explain, yeah, we share a lot of things, including the deck recipes, so if you guys like this kind of content, be sure to like and sub, we will see you guys on the next video, which is coming up soon, take care everyone.